That reminds me, today it's my turn to cook. I've got to go grocery shopping. Luckily, I just happened to be on my way home from work and decided to stop at the supermarket before I go home. I'll, have, I'll end up going out of my way a little, but it's better than going out shopping again after I get home. New background? No. No, no. I, I'm a fool, of course not. You can't snack on the food like that. You'll get in trouble with the shopkeeper, you know? Hmm? As I'm walking towards the supermarket, I hear a voice coming from a side street. That girl. When I turn to look towards the voice, I see a familiar ponytailed girl talking to someone. I missed you, best girl. <laughs> However, I don't sense the presence of anyone else around here. I assume she might be using the phone, but she's not. There's a mouse in the palm of her hand, standing up on its two hind legs. This she is my ratatouille. Mouse, is she? <laughs> it controls me by pulling on my ponytail. She really is talking to that mouse. Uh, who in the world is this girl? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeaker, squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeakity. It doesn't matter if they target me, but I don't want Master to get hurt. I should get going too. Thinking that it's not polite to stand around eavesdropping, I start to leave when I accidentally kick an empty can that's lying on the street. <laughs> You're that convenience store clerk! It seems that the ponytailed girl remembers me. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to listen. I just thought it was strange that you were talking to a mouse. Pardon me if this sounds strange, but can you really talk to mice? Oh, uh, just a little. No way. She was actually having a conversation with it. Talking with animals, not only that, but with a mouse. It's like a ninja who's mastered the art of animal summoning. Wait, ninja? <laughs> 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 However, <laughs> there are people in the world who possess an almost supernatural ability to build rapport with animals, so it may not be so surprising after all. If you don't mind, could you keep this a secret? It's a little embarrassing. Well, I wouldn't go out of my way to talk about this anyway, but if you want me to keep it a secret, I'll keep my mouth shut about it. Really? Thank you so much! Uh, sure. Well, I'm off. Huh? Peace, Wait. bitch! <laughs> the ponytail girl runs away down the s side street at a surprisingly fast speed. She must be living in town, so we might bump into each other again. I'll just find out her name next time. Dwelling on that, I head to the supermarket. I step from the side street onto the main road. And after walking for a bit, I see someone standing there who I recognize. Yeah, it's our roommate. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with her? Kikyo is pacing back and forth in front of the shop. Since I'm here, I might as well get her attention. Oh! Master! You're back from work! Yeah, so what were you doing? I wanted to go into the store, but I can't seem to gather up the courage. Cause play? I just came to search for tools of disguise. I'm looking for a hair attachment. What do you call it these days? A wig or something. Pretty sure that's uh, what it's always been called, sure. I don't use one so often, but I thought it might be handy to have as a disguise. So, would you like to go in together? Well, if you wouldn't mind going in there with me. Alright, let's go in. Who are those characters on that, like, placard? Why do I get the feeling that those are all characters from other games made by the studio? From... It for sure is. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Fantasy Tavern Sextet, Volume 1, New World Days. Oh I posted it in the Discord. Look at this. We have to play it. <laughs> <laughs> it has the ex <laughs> the fucking trailer shows the um background of Akihabara that we were just looking at in Ninden Days. Oh my god. It's the same universe. <laughs> they showed the main cafe too. What the fuck? <laughs> um master, could I take a look around the shop? No. <laughs> of um... course, that's why we're here, right? Thank you so much! 
Kikyo smile. For playing my game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the watching my movie. If they don't say that in the Super Mario Does movie, he do that? I'm I am really so disappointed. I, I mean, would it just be Chris Pratt being like, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> for to watching my movie. My movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait for her. That's the safe choice. I snap out of my daze and look up. Kikyo is standing there, peering into my face. What's going on? I wanted to ask your opinion. My opinion? Yes. I was wondering which one you might prefer, Master. Kikyo extends her hands to show me two different costumes. Um, aren't these... Cosplay outfits! It's hard to say which is best. One is a Shrine Maiden costume. There are large notches cut out in the signs, in the sides, and it would surely be a disaster if Kikyo wore it. The other looks like an outfit a witch would wear. This one is also oh, it's revealing Tolo. as many- Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> and would also likely be a disaster for Kikyo. Yeah, they're just Toho characters. I'll try on whichever one you prefer, okay, master? The one I prefer, huh? Not trying either one on. Does that option exist? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, I'm kind of team witch right now. Alright, let's know. go with the witch then. If Kikyo's going to ask me to try- uh, Ask me which to try on, it's gotta be the witch costume. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Good one, me. Like she came up to me and she held up the two costumes and she said, "Which costume?" And then I said, uh, "Correct." Shall I put the Shrine Maiden costume back for you? That will probably save her some trouble. No, I can handle it. Ninja Fire Jutsu. <laughs> what? <laughs> After my answer, Kikyo runs off towards the fitting room. Watching her out of the corner of my eye, I walk off in a different direction. <laughs> I leave. <laughs> I leave the store. <laughs> yeah, finally I got rid of her! <laughs> now I just have to get rid of the other one. <laughs> Something suddenly crashes into me from the side. Unable to comprehend what's going on, I realize that this sudden impact is going to knock me over. <laughs> you died. I try to hold my stance to prevent falling over, but it backfires. I close I my eyes at the imminent shock. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Oh, that was her. From oh, that oh, voice, oh, 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 oh. I guess that it was a girl who crashed into me. Ouch. I say this reflexively, but in reality, I don't feel much pain. She crashed into me with enough momentum to push me over, so there should have been some shock or pain. However, I... Oh, my gosh. I feel oh neither God. of the above, and instead Oops, land it feels like a soft cushion. I open my eyes and confirm my current circumstances. Whoa! What? Um... Okay, I was not Wait, expecting Sumire. How, how, how did we end up in this position with Sumire also? <laughs> I what happened? Don't... Maybe Sumire is the one who crashed into us. I'm struck dumb at the scene before me. Uh, no, this is... Her face is familiar. Actually, we talked to each, we talked to each other only a short while ago. It'd be nice if, um, to pay homage to the original game if, uh... <laughs> For this scene, the original it played penis the original music. penis music, yes. <laughs> exactly oh, where I was going you. with that. Normally, I should be the one who ends up on the bottom in this situation. Frank <laughs> <Break> Bottom <laughs> confirmed? <laughs> Frank Bottom. <laughs> His name changes from Ninja Frank to Bottom Frank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. I snap out of it at the sound of her voice, and I apologize while standing up. Then I put some distance between us. I'm really sorry. I never expected that. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, so there is no helping it. She stands up as well, fixing her clothes with an embarrassed expression on her face. But are you sure? It's an undeniable fact that I grabbed onto her boob, her breast, her tit, her honka, her honker, her honka donka lonka bonka. <laughs> Your humonga longa bunga longa dongles. <laughs> I don't think I need to get down on my knees and apologize, but could I treat you to some tea to say sorry? She's not with me now, but I came here with another girl, so we wouldn't be all alone. 
It's nothing to worry about. I was thinking of going to a cafe that specializes in Japanese sweets. I recommend their sweet dumplings, so how about it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> sweet dumplings. The moment she hears this word, her eyes begin to sparkle. From what I can see, she's a fan of Japanese sweets. I wonder if Kikia would like them. She's a ninja after all, so I bet she'd be a fan of Japanese sweets too. Huh? Did you just say ninja? Wait, I thought he was- I thought that was his inner monologue. Gonna be honest, I did not realize he was saying that out loud. Oh no, come on, I, I mean she just tried on a ninja costume. She told me she wanted to try ninja cosplay, you know. Since she's cosplaying as a ninja, I thought Japanese dumplings might be a good prop to go along with it. <laughs> I come up with this sudden excuse, but I wonder if it's enough. Oh, you startled me. <laughs> Sorry about saying something so misleading. <laughs> An awkward atmosphere starts to develop around us. I would argue, uh, Frank, that it was awkward... <laughs> When you, when you grabbed her grabbed tip. her breast, while we <laughs> while we try to cover it up with slightly creepy laughter, <laughs> the girl opens her mouth to talk. <laughs> oh, forget about the dumplings. Instead, I have two favors to ask of you. Favors? So you pick me up some rice. <laughs> what is to stop being so polite? Let's just be frank with each other, okay? I'm already frank, I'm always frank. You can't be frank, I'm frank. <laughs> Let's just be frank, okay? <laughs> I'm always frank. Wait, fuck. <laughs> Well, if that's what you want, if that's her desire, then I should do as she asks. So, what's your second favor? Let's see. I want to ask your opinion on something. My opinion? Yeah. I want to know the kind of cosplay that guys are into. Witches. <laughs> There's a lot of room for debate, for debate about this subject, but it really depends on personal preference in the end. Just curious, but when will you wear it? At night. Yeah. Bed. In bed. Stop it! Uh, oh! <laughs> well, there are a lot of different uses for cosplay, right? It shouldn't matter when she's gonna use it. Then how about a keep key pal? Yeah! I'll try a key pal costume. Thanks. Oh, okay, a key pal is like a kind of dress. Hey, Kikyo? I call out her name when I where all the fitting rooms are lined up and see a hand poke out of one of them. Master, I'm over here! Guided by her hand and voice, I approach one of the booths. Did you finish changing? Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ooga! <laughs> oh my, this is fucking music! <laughs> <laughs> this is like one we, of three we, songs we, they have. <laughs> We've had like three songs in this game. You idiot, call me when you're finished. I panic and avert my eyes, trying to escape as quickly as possible. Sorry, I don't know how to put it on. Could you help me? My wrist is grabbed and I'm pulled even closer back inside the fitting room. Master, could you hold on to this for me? <laughs> what? That was a fun sex scene that we can't show in the Switch version. <laughs> I'll prepare dinner for us tonight. But isn't it my turn tonight? I want to thank you for tagging along with me to the shop. Then please think about what you'd like to eat tonight. Oh, I'm thinking about it, all right. <laughs> I'd like to snack on those mommy milkers. You know? <laughs> Smiling Kiki seems even more cheerful than before. Mommy milky. <laughs> I only just noticed she has a katana. A huge katana. Was that even there before? I feel I like it wasn't. I don't know. Suzu-chan, we're back. <laughs> Alright, I lost again. What the heck? Isn't this guy too strong for his own good? When Kikyo and I call out to Suzu-chan, we hear a frustrated cry in place of an answer. Oh, did you notice the fucking uh, NES sitting on the floor? Well, that's a Famicom, actually, because it's Japanese. You are correct. 
If you're not doing anything, wanna have a game battle? I don't mind, but what game are we playing? We're going to fight with the famous Fist of the Flying Dragon 2. That is... <clears throat> the literal translation of Shoryuken. <laughs> oh. It, mean, it means like Flying Dragon Fist. Oh my god, you're gonna play Street Fighter 2? Yeah. With her. A fighting game, huh? Compared Imagine to fighting if there was nowadays. just an actual full fighting game. Yeah, fighting mini game, game minigame, yeah. <laughs> I just win by spamming Hadouken. Like, oh, Hadouken! this is where the budget went. Hadouken! Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? This is, un this is unfair. Yes, get wrecked! <laughs> I'm going to kick your butt, Master. Are you really that strong? Of course I am. If anyone talks about martial arts, Suzu, in my village, they're referring to me after all. Should we leave out the penalty game this time? Penalty game? In the village, we have a sexy custom of penalizing the loser. <laughs> Emphasis on penal. Like taking the loser's snacks or scribbling on their face. What? I never imagined that Ninja would be into gambling, but they're actually pretty vulgar. Oh yeah, I'll give you the advantage of a handicap. Then you wouldn't mind a penalty game, right? What kind of handicap? How about no jumps and no death blows? No jumps or death blows, huh? Cool, now my plan of spamming Hadouken is <laughs> guaranteed to work. She can't jump over them. <laughs> I sit down next to Suzudan and pick up the controller as she makes this declaration. I feel kind of bad getting serious with a beginner, but I don't plan on losing. When did I say I was a beginner? She lost. <laughs> a few minutes later. The this first round finishes, narrator. and the words KO fill the screen. A few moments later. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of the course. one line defeated on the ground is Suzidon's character. Honestly, just like giving us the the penis music from the previous game would be a nice change of pace at this point. All I've done was the tutorial, and I have no idea what each character's abilities are. That's even more irritating. One more time. If we play again, I won't lose. Sure, why not? A few minutes later. The second round finishes and the words KO fill the screen. It, it can't be. Just like before, the one who tumbled to the ground was Suzidon's character. Shall we give it a rest? It's not over yet. If I use my evil eye, I can even follow every single frame of movement. That would be nice. Just throws the controller in your face. <laughs> yeah, just gamer rage. Once more, a few minutes go by. A few minutes later. The third round is the over. Third. I guessed what the result might be, and yes, Suzidon lost. Even without your handicaps, I have a feeling I can win. She doesn't even bother with special techniques, simply attacking with consecutive punches and kicks using repeated button mashing. Even if we get rid of her handicap, she'll probably fight the same way. Please, let's fight without any handicaps. Sure. Hehehe. <laughs> This will be our last dance, my master. What the if fuck? A few minutes later. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the moment the fourth round finished, Suzidon's scream reverberates throughout the room. Ah, why can't I win? What can I say? I'm starting to feel sorry for her. Well, do you want to play again? Are you done yet, yet you little bitch? <laughs> gonna cry? You gonna go cry about it? So, how about the penalty game? I know, bake me, boil me, do whatever you like to me. Then how about having her try that outfit on? Kikyo pulls some, some black clothes out of her cloth bundle. I thought it was a ninja outfit that one might see in an anime or manga, but something is different about it. It's quite decorative and a little too flashy to be a ninja costume. Plus, there doesn't seem to be a lot of area that might cover her skin. Kikyo, why do you have to do that? Ho ho ho! I wanted you to try it on as well, Suzu-chan. So I brought it along with me. What will you do? Will you ask Suzuran to wear this? I guess so, since I haven't thought of any other penalty. The, atmos the, uh, the atmosphere in here negates any possibility of refusal. Chikyo, what exactly are those clothes? 
I don't know. I don't know the details, but I think it's a costume from one of Suzu-chan's favorite anime. I see. It sounds as if she's finished changing. I changed, but... I think it suits you. Apparently, Kikyo can see Suzudan from where she's sitting. It won't be a proper penalty unless you show it to Master, you know. Fine. Prepare the penis music! <laughs> Suzudan, did you finish chain... What? Oh. Oh. She's a... Demon? She has bat-like wings and a devilish tail, but it's a costume designed to incite desire and must be a succubus cosplay. I am surprised that they're not playing the fucking circus music. Suzu-chan, your face is getting red. Shut up! This is a penalty game, isn't it? It's embarrassing and that's all. I'm not blushing. Oh my- oh no. Oh my! Oh my! But- you might become the master's masturbation fodder in a whole new way now. Why do they keep using that fucking term? Suzu-chan, that blushing face of yours is going to get the master all excited? Uh, excited? Master, you pervert, idiot, ass, moron, stupid, naughty Interloper. ninja. <laughs> Interloper! Monster! <laughs> pervert. I'm changing out of this. Suzudon dashes out of the room like a frightened rabbit. I hope she's not upset with me about this for some reason. I don't know what kind of education she's had, but... Oh, she went to ninja college. <laughs> she was valedictorian. <laughs> hey, you, that belongs to me. Give it back now. What? Is there an animal? Oh, the mouse! What's going on in there? Who knows? I wonder if an insect might have flown into the room, but when I listened closely to the voice coming from the bathroom, I realized that's not the case. Oh my god, Sumide uh, sent the mouse to assassinate yeah. us. Yeah. Hey, I told you to give that back. Now I can hear the sound of someone running around, which is coming closer and closer. What the fuck? It is a mouse! <laughs> Why'd you have to steal mine? She wasn't because... even wearing that. What? She I guess she was wearing way it underneath. bigger and better, right? I think she was going to go and put it back on, and then the mouse stole it. Suzuran comes barreling into the I just noticed the fucking music. I have a hard time knowing where to look when I see her. Maybe, uh, the mouse that is running around- Like, honestly, if this actually happened, um, I would be way more distracted by the mouse that is stealing underwear. <laughs> Cause that's a mouse? funny. It's- it's gotta be the same mouse. Yeah. The thing Suzanon is chasing after is a mouse. Did Sumire be- Was Sumire like, Alright, go and steal the rival ninja's undergarments. It would be super funny. And the mouse was like, Ah, yes, of course. I understand. Anything you say. At, at once, my lady. <laughs> hey, Suzanon, that mouse. Oh, yeah. Something tells me I've seen it before. <laughs> Not only that, but very recently. Oh my gosh, no way. Where did I see it? Master, Kikyo, help me! Despite her- They have not help. done any actual ninja shit in this game so <laughs> far. Yeah. <laughs> How is this even worse than the first one? Oh my gosh. Please, I'll do anything, just help me! Eek! Suzuron is looking over at us while chasing the mouse around. However, my room isn't that spacious, so if you don't look where you're going, you're likely to crash into a wall! Uh, that which drives out the root of all evil, free me from my pain and suffering, and lead me to the all-purifying fountain. Please? Say something that makes sense! What the hell does that mean? Chomping cringe. <laughs> oh, uh, that's Suzu-chan's version of pain, pain, go away. Why doesn't she just say that then? Then with Suzuron's bra in its mouth, it opens the window and escapes the room. <laughs> it got away. It actually did. <laughs> like it goes, like reports back to Sumire and she's like, aha, uh, the bra of a rival ninja. <laughs> Excellent, Excellent work. <laughs> This will be a fine trophy. Well done, Mr. Squeakers. It looks as though Suzudon is wearing something other than her ninja outfit. 
Is something happening to make me hallucinate? Suzuron, Is there clothes. a gas leak again? Oh, these? These are part of my disguise tools to help me blend in with modern society. Well, aren't they cute? Sure. Do you have one too, Kikyo? Something like Suzuron's costume? I mean, regular clothes? Oh, wow, that's actually kind of cute. Sorry to keep you waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> 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 Snake walks out in a gothic Lolita dress. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in my Japanese animes. <laughs> they both have pretty faces and nice figures. It's no longer... <sighs> I'm just... I'm deflating over here. The, the, the yeah. number of times they repeat the same shit. <laughs> they are pretty. I like their figure. They are pretty yeah. girls. <laughs> they are cute. They have nice figures. Any clothes would look good on them. Did yeah, I mention no offense, that they Gus, are pretty? But you pale. Uh, sorry, not Ninja Gus. No offense, Ninja Frank, but you pale in comparison to the Chad that is Ninja Gus. <laughs> the Chad Ninja Gus versus the Virgin Ninja Frank. <laughs> yeah. I guess anything. Oh my gosh, I'm not like. I'm <laughs> on the other hand, Kikyo's clothes have a subtle design, giving her the appearance of a mature adult. This also complements her behavior and personality. We're just gonna be skimming this by the end. Suzu-chan, please cheer up! Come on, it's time for dinner, so let's eat! Okay. Let's go buy some new underwear next time! Okay. I know! We can have ma the master pick out something for you! Okay. Huh? What, what did you just... The master's gonna choose your undies. I did not agree to this. Ho oh, ho. Man. Oh, oh I should turn the off the stove soon. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Fucking all the, all the food burned.